Hello and welcome back to another visual big, big episode with Hellfire1997. Today I will be showing you how to add a picture box of the spaceship and showing you how you can move it using the key events on your keyboard. So first, obviously last time I showed you how to use the panel and to create and hide your main menu. So here's the panel we want to get our picture box make sure it's in the panel then we select the image we want project resource file the image we want scroll down to size mode stretch image and then we want to make it the right size so um, to make a good size I remember rightly for this for this particular image was about oh, okay maybe not 150 100 might have been 100 150 that looks a little bit better and then you just want to position it fairly low down just making sure it is in the panel because if it was if you were to have it outside the panel then it wouldn't be inside the container and therefore it wouldn't hide when the panel was hidden it wouldn't show when the panel was shown basically so we've got our spaceship in our picture box let's just rename it to spaceship so now every time we refer to this in the code, we refer to it as spaceship. Now, we go into the code. Oh, hang on a sec. Go into a toolbox rather. We want to come down to components and get a timer. And then it'll open up this little tab here. So rename the name to move comp this timer will essentially move our spaceship left and right of the screen and later on it will also move the aliens around the screen or the invaders so we want it to be enabled equals false so it doesn't start until after we tell it to interval now the interval works in milliseconds so the here it says a hundred, so that's a hundred milliseconds or one tenth of a second. Now for something like this, a good interval is normally about ten milliseconds or one hundredth of a second. Normally works pretty well that. So if we double click on move component, it opens up the code view, and here is the subroutine. So every time the timer clicks through it's going to be coming to this <coughs> subroutine now just to try and make this a little easier to read and so on we do hashtag region and then name it buttons now this essentially just makes it easier to show all your little um, essentially it will let you have like here we can have lots of buttons and we can just close them or hide them and open them up it just makes it easier to read through your code sometimes so what I generally do is I normally have a region for each component so this one will be hashtag region timers now obviously we want that's a button so we want it to go into our button region and our timer we obviously want into our timer region so this just makes it easier to read through your code and if so we can open up our region or close it and we can also close individual buttons or components in that region now so up here if we were to create another region for our variables we are going to <coughs> I 
we want to dim variables as boolean which is essentially true or false so you can use the boolean as if this equals true then do this if this equals false then do that so if we dim left as left not left um uh, left as boolean and then dim rig as boolean in fact once again we're actually going to have to shorten these <coughs> excuse me because if we just use left or right then Visual Basic already has code built in for that so it variable right conflicts with property right in base class control so it doesn't allow us to do that so we've got to call it something else so we just have rig for right left for left so <coughs> now here so essentially what we want to do is if we ooh, hang on a sec right I'm back sorry about that I made a small mistake Right, so now we want to actually set the subroutines that will change our boolean variables to true and false depend on the parameters. So if we go back on form 1, select our form 1 or parent form as it's called. Now here, this shows the properties at the moment. So, if we click, so that is the properties. If we come on here, these are all the events you can do so we want one called key down so we need to type in the name of it so just move com left and they'll open up the code view and just do the same for key up <coughs> move com stop now I don't know why I called that left because it's not going to move it left, it'll move it left or right depending on the boolean. <coughs> so every time a key press is down on any key on the keyboard it's going to come to this subroutine here. So <coughs> just again create a region for these. So hashtag region key presses and just shift these into our oop and just shift these into our region there we go now what we want to do if we just close these regions so we've got less I'll go up our screen <coughs> now so here every time a key comes down we want it to see which key it is so we do if e dot key value equals keys dot a then okay so if okay so here what happens is every time a key is pressed on the keyboard it comes to this subroutine and if the key is pressed is A then it's going to do all the code that we insert in here so as I was saying any so if the key pressed on the keyboard on the Font is A, then it's going to do the little piece of code here. <coughs> so, what we do is we tell it to left equals true. So, this basically changes the boolean from false to true so that on our timer it will then move the shift left. So, if we go on our timer, if we do if left equals true then so if left does equal true it will then do this little piece of code so we do 
base shift <coughs> dot left equals base shift dot left minus three. So this little piece of code will just move the space shift over to the left. So if we were to run it. Press start game and then press A and it doesn't work. And I think I know why if you will just give me a minute. Okay, I am back and the reason it wasn't working is because I was a little bit of an idiot. If we go back to buttons, or actually this time it moves them I, it's not enabled which basically means it's not turned on and I forgot to turn it on so if we go on to the start game button which hides our main menu and comes up with this panel we can go at the bottom and do task or not timer one whatever the name move comp that's it we can do move comp dot enabled equals true move comp dot start so this is basically starting this will basically start the timer so now when we press the start game button it will start the timer and another thing you have to do is if we go to form we need to do scroll up we need key preview change that from false to true <coughs> the reason we do this is is that if we were to not do it all the keyboard events will be intercepted by all the other controls which means the form itself wouldn't get this key event which it, when it's actually the form that needs it so if we were to try and run the program now press start game it moves across however because we haven't been able to change it we can't stop it yet because we haven't told it how to stop so we can do that now although in my opinion it moved a little too fast so we'll change that to one and to stop the spaceship from moving that in the key down event it changes it to true but in the key up event we use the same bit of code if e dot key value equals keys a oop, key dot a then <coughs> left equals false so what this piece of code is saying is w when you let go of the button and the key goes up it changes the boolean variable from true to false and this time it means when the timer clicks is no longer false so it no longer comes to it is no longer true so it no longer comes to this little piece of code so it doesn't move the spaceship so if we were to run it press start game hold it it moves let go of it it stops easy peasy lemon squeezy <coughs> however now we obviously need to do the same to move the ship right again so we come back to key down if e dot key value equals keys dot d then rig <coughs> equals true and on key up if e dot key value equals keys dot d then big equals false <coughs> then we just come back up to the timer if big equals true then spaceship dot 
left equals base shift dot left plus one. Now it's just occurred to me I didn't explain this line of code. <coughs> so what the Visual Basic does is when it determines the location of a picture box, one of the ways you can get it to check the location is by checking the distance from the top of the picture box to the top of the form. <coughs> Excuse me. And the distance from the left side of the picture box to the left of the form. Now, if you want, you can change it so it's the distance from the bottom and the distance to the right. However, the default setting is the top and the left. So, if we go into code, when it do says spaceship dot left plus one, it's increasing the distance between the left side of the picture box and the left side of the form by one pixel. And every time it goes that bit of code. It's going to basically add one pixel on, which will move this picture box across the screen like that. So, and obviously, to move left, it obviously decreases the distance rather than increases it. So, if we now test the program again, move it up, start game, hold A, move to the left, let go of it, stop moving, hold D, move to the right, let go of D. It stops moving. Perfect. <coughs> now, next time I will be showing you how to insert aliens into your or your invaders into your game, and how we can start moving them on the timer. Thank you for watching. This has been Hellfire 1997.